What's up guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your next tutorial on how to build a robot. Now in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make connections between components. Now we already have one component, the power source, and just to let you guys know, just stepping forward a bit, whenever we're done building our robot and we want to connect everything permanently, we're going to use a soldering iron which is pretty much going to melt the two metal parts together to form a permanent connection that you can't get rid of. But when we're testing components, we want something that's temporary and you can just put on and put off and it doesn't work, put on somewhere else. You don't really want to melt the wires together or else you're going to probably mess up a bunch and you're going to have to cut all the components out. So the answer to not soldering everything together is something called alligator clips. And alligator clips get their name because they have little teeth on them that can clip on and clip off of things like little alligators. I know it's kind of fuzzy, but... And how they work is this. Say that you have two components right here. Instead of soldering them together, that would form a permanent bond that would, I, would, I would have to cut one of these wires. What you do is just clip it and unclip it. And you can clip to things like your batteries and other stuff. So that is why alligator clips are useful when using uh, electronics. Now you wouldn't want to use these in your permanent uh, robot because first of all it'll get expensive and second of all when your robot would move around they'd probably shake and they probably loosen their grip a little bit and fall off and it would be a pain but um, in case I didn't say these are real cheap they're only a couple bucks each you can get them off of Amazon or eBay or anything like that these were only like a couple bucks I think and what they do is grip and hold on to stuff temporary while you're testing and you're going to thank me if you buy these, so I recommend it highly. Now, what we're going to be testing these alligator clips for today using our multimeter is something called a resistance, and this is your guys' first electrical concept. Now, the famous analogy they use is all of your components are going to need electrical current, and this is what gives it power and the, your components the ability to work, the electrical current. But not all your electrical current needs the full 9 volts, and the volts are voltage, but they go hand in hand, that we're going to need. What resistance does is it resists the electrical current and limits the amount that it allows past. With um, alligator clips, we don't want to limit the resistance at all. These are just connections. What these do is pretty much connect one component to another. So we don't want to be limiting the electrical current at all. So whenever we test for alligator clips for resistance, uh, we want the lowest resistance possible. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So when you're testing for resistance, the very first thing that you want to do is go ahead and turn your multimeter on to resistance. Now this is the little horseshoe shaped uh, symbol. This uh, well, you don't need to know this, but resistance is measured in ohms. And that little horseshoe shape right there, this is going to test for resistance and give you your feedback in ohms, O-H-M-S. Now let me show you guys how to actually set it up. As you can see now, your digital multimeter is now going to read O-L or it might read open or anything like that. What this means is you have an open connection and that these probes aren't even making a circuit at all. They aren't even touching at all. So this is what you want when your probes aren't touching at all. When we hook the alligator clips onto each of these probes, we're going to get some kind of resistance, and that's what we're going to be looking for. So now, go ahead and take your probes and hook one end of your alligator clip onto the red one, and one end of your alligator clip onto the black one. Now, as you can see, I can see, but you probably can't, I'm getting a reading, a very small reading, of resistance on my multimeter. Now let me show you guys what that is right now. So as you can see, this wire is fluctuating between somewhere between 0 0.0 and 0.1 ohms. Now what this means is we have a really good alligator clip that's a really good conductor of electricity and it doesn't resist the electric current as much as uh, it could. So this one is a keeper 